All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. We are doing an update on my Project Pan 2021. I have a lot of great updates to tell you about this month. I have some items that are rolling out of this project. And of course, that means we have some items that are rolling in. And if you're interested in seeing my progress on all of my products, then go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so it is November 6th today and we are just under a one month update from my October update. And I was not wearing as much makeup this past month as I normally do, or maybe I just was working on other products that aren't in my project, because I'm kind of trying to work some things through uh, my collection and get them out before I do my next inventory. So I'll tell you about that as we go through the products. If you're interested in seeing my other Project Pan videos, I'll link them in the cards up above and you can check them out and kind of see how I've gotten to this point. I'm kind of wondering what I should do when I finish this project for 2021, if maybe I should start fresh for 2022, roll over. Um, I also wanna try a different kind of Project Pan to integrate into my rotation. I'm really intrigued with the roulette project pan videos that are going around YouTube. I think they're really fun and a great way to move through more of your collection and just get use on things that maybe are neglected during your typical project pan. So let me know if you'd be interested in those videos and I'd be happy to do them. I think it'd be really fun just to, you know, rifle through the rest of my collection as I'm also trying to work through products and use them up and get them out. So the first item we're gonna update on is my foundation. It's the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. And this has been in my project for a couple months now. And uh, last month it was weighing in at 155.89 grams. And this month it's at 155.29 grams. So I've used 0.6 grams, which is not a huge amount. It's definitely less than I used the month previous. It's mostly because I've been wearing masks every day and this just does not perform very well under a mask, in my opinion. I just don't really feel like it's worth it to put on a foundation when I'm wearing a mask. So I really only use this on the weekends. I went on a trip this past month, I went to Disneyland, and I just knew that this foundation, while I love it, it's not as long wearing as another foundation that I have. So I had this little sample size, a cosmetic CC cream in the matte formula and I actually really enjoy it. I don't find it to be super matte. So I decided to take this with me on my trip and try and use it up. And I have been kind of using this on days when I want a more full coverage and I'm kind of unofficially project painting this because it is a sample size. I feel confident that I can use this up and just have one less item in my inventory by the end of the year. So this one's taken a little back seat and this one's kind of replaced it for the time being, but we are still trying to use this one up. I still really love this foundation and I'm gonna continue to use it in this project pan. Uh, I think it is fun to track and it is starting to show a few more windows. You can see a little bit into the bottle and that's fun. It makes me feel like, you know, progress is happening even though it's not as easy to track as some other foundations. So yeah, it doesn't look too different than last month. I'll of course show you the comparisons of what it looked like last month and now this month. But 0.6 grams of use is, you know, it's something, it's not nothing. So we'll take that and move along with her into the next month. The next item in my project is my finishing powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I have the shade Medium. And this one was on the last legs last month. It had just a little bit of product left in it and I was confident I would finish it up. And of course I did. It's very much empty now. And anything you see on the pan is just like, you know, dirt, not dirt, but you know, that messy pan that gets left behind. It's not product. Super happy to have this used up. It was weighing 51 grams last month and now it's at 50.72. So I used the remaining 0.28 grams of product and she is empty. Will I ever purchase this product? Probably not. I do love the packaging. I really do. And I would enjoy having this product for the packaging alone. And the powder is decent. I have no complaints about the powder. It's just, you know, for the price, you know, I don't really think I need to be spending my money on a, what is this, like a $40 powder when I can find very similar ones at the drugstore for like $10 or $15. She's done and we're going to roll her out. I mean, now I am kind of getting sad about it. I just love this packaging so much. Charlotte Tilbury has great packaging and 
I don't know, maybe as I mature in age and have more expendable income, I will splurge on luxuries like this because it does kind of add to that user experience when you are picking it up and applying a little powder. It's nice to feel a little bit of, you know, glam in that moment. So, you know, she has her place. But for now, uh, we're done. She's going to my empties and we get to bring in something new. So that's exciting. The next item in my project is my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Yes, that's what it's called. And it's in the shade Custard. And this is a product that was kind of collecting dust in my collection for far too long. And I'm so glad I brought it into this project because I really have fallen in love with it in a way that I never really had fallen in love with it before. So I've gotten to know it, gotten to appreciate it, and happy that I'm getting the use out of it now. So last month, this was looking like this. It was weighing 30.52 grams. And in the last month, I used it a lot. I used it almost every day that I went to work. I mostly just use it under my eye, on a couple blemishes, and it's like basically my foundation from like here up. And then I just do um, eyeshadow and mascara and brows. I kind of keep it pretty simple when I'm going to work. I was able to hit pan on this product. It's looking like this now. You can see, you can see the bottom of the pan there, which is really exciting and satisfying. And it's now weighing 29.51 grams. So I've used 1.01 grams. And I'm super happy about that. And I'm confident that I'll be able to use this up with regular use. I don't know how fast it will go, but a gram in a month is pretty good amount of use. And I expect that I'll be wearing more makeup in November and December, just because I'll have more time off work. I will be, you know, going to holiday parties and things like that. And makeup will just be more available to me. I'll be able to have more fun with it, not just like slopping on whatever I can before I get to work. So excited to get more use on that and watch it just expand and disappear on my channel with all of you. Okay. <laughs> Hi. So this is my Tartis Pro Glow liquid highlighter in the shade exposed and I actually use this this month I well I use it every month but this month I used it in my lotion like at least twice I think and it was fruitful I mean that definitely made a difference last month it was weighing 15.61 grams and it looked about like this and this month it's 14.17 grams. So I've used 1.44 grams, almost one and a half grams, which is the biggest leap I've ever made with this product. And that, you know, is satisfying. Um, there's still a good amount of product in there. This is what she's looking like. And I've tried to squeeze her down. I've tried to get it all compacted down there. And, um, you know, there's just more product in there than you would think. So I'm really gonna try to use this a few more times in my lotion. I, I use it on my face today and you know, I'm just not gonna give up on this one. I'm understanding how it works and how it behaves on the skin and that's making it easier for me to use on a daily basis because I know what to expect and I know how to kind of make it work. So yeah, we're gonna keep her in. I'm determined to finish this product. I just wanna get it empty and out and I'm getting there. I'm hoping that by the end of the year, maybe I can get this thing used up. I don't want to roll it into the next project. So <laughs> that's my goal. By the end of the year, we're going to do it. Wish me luck. The next item in my project is my e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette. This is another product that was collecting dust in my drawers for far too long. And I'm so happy I brought it into my project because I'm really enjoying using it. I think cream contour is like a nice little step that I've been enjoying having in my routine. So last month it was weighing 91.17 grams and it was looking like this. Definitely you could see that it had some use on it. And in this last month, I've used an additional 0.8 grams. It's now weighing 90.37 grams. So I've used 0.8 grams, almost a whole gram. And it's now looking like this. And you can see that I have two pans on this now in the two shades that I mainly use. Well, the only two shades that I use. It now has two pans, which is super exciting. I pretty much hit pan on this one almost immediately after my last update. And then this one was not far behind. And since hitting pan, on this one. I've kind of been focusing on this one and I found that this one actually works a little bit better for me. It's just a little bit more pigmented, a little deeper, better for my skin tone. Um, and I was mixing them a little bit, but I've actually been using this one by itself. And I find that that's kind of my favorite, my favorite shade that I found. And I'm intrigued to use the other two shades too, to either mix them together or mix these two together to kind of deepen it up and just try and get as much use on this palette as possible because 
it really is a nice product and if you're looking for a cream contour palette and you're on a budget this is definitely one i would recommend i'm sorry if this looks like completely gross but you know a little hair here or there ain't gonna kill you ain't gonna kill anybody and i do my best okay <laughs> but there's hairs around here okay i got a cat i got i got hairs there's hairs on my brushes and sometimes they end up in the cream contour palette all right it's just I don't know what to tell you. Loving having this in my project and I'm excited to just continue to watch it get used up. The next item is my Benefit Hula Bronzer and I've been working on this for a couple months now. It's probably been like four or five months and I have quite a good pan on here. Last month it was looking like this. I'll kind of show you how it's evolved over the past couple months. It was weighing 38.55 grams last month and this month it's 38.05 grams. So I've used exactly 0.5 grams and she's looking like this now. You can see that's a pretty good looking pan there. I'm happy with it, I'm happy with it. Starting to get a lot of kickback on this product and I don't know why it's happening more now than before. I don't know, but I'm actually starting to enjoy this more. You know, I've said a few times that I think this bronzer is pretty overrated and I think that's just because it's not the correct shade for me. Now in the winter, or the fall, we're in the fall. <laughs> now in these cooler months, it definitely works a lot better than it does for me in the summer. So I'm happy that I'm able to use this in this season and hopeful that I'll be able to use this up in the next couple months. I might wanna repress this soon, but we'll see. We'll see how we do this next month. Maybe after next month, I'll repress it. But enjoying watching this pan expand bigger and bigger and bigger and this Powder is actually, you know, working pretty well for me right now. It's definitely what's on my cheeks today, as well as the cream contour. And once I use this up, I probably, you know, I'm not going to repurchase it. That's going to be it. But it's mostly the packaging, honestly. The packaging of this product drives me crazy. And I never really understood it before, but now that I've been using it on a daily basis, because I've heard people complain about the packaging before, and I never really understood why it bothered people. But now that I've been using it on a daily basis, it is annoying. I agree. It's annoying. And like, so you can see on the sides where the lid has just gouged into the sides and I hate that. It really bothers me. So I kind of like bent them out so that wouldn't happen anymore. So that's Benefit Hula. Definitely making a steady progress on her and it'll be really nice to use up another bronzer in my collection and just reduce my inventory by one more. The next product is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Diffused Light. And I mostly use this as a finishing powder under my eyes and just to kind of like blend everything together on my complexion once my other base products were on. And I'm happy I brought this in just so I'm getting used on it. This is definitely an expensive powder. It's like a 40 some dollar powder and it was not getting any love. It was collecting so much dust in my drawer and it deserved to have some use. So it was looking like this last month. It was weighing 86.81 grams. And this month it is at 86.35 grams. So we used 0.46 grams, almost half a gram, which I'm happy with. It's not a makeup step that uses a lot of product when you use it, but I'm happy for any use that I'm getting on it. It's looking like this right now. And I think you're starting to get a slight dip on the surface, maybe, hopefully. It's going to be a while for this one. It's not going anywhere anytime soon, but I don't know. I kind of feel like this is not a necessary step in my makeup routine. It's just kind of like something extra. I don't know if it's really making me look any more diffused or lit from within as it supposes to do, but I am happy that I'm at least getting some product used up from this item that I spent my money on. So that is a win in my book. We're gonna continue to track this powder for at least a couple more months and see how it goes. I am enjoying it. You know, I think that it makes me feel like I'm doing a little bit something extra in my routine and it's nice to kind of treat yourself and just pamper yourself a little bit every day. Okay, everybody, it's time. Let's talk about this one. This is the Benefit Cabrow Brow Pomade. I was committed to sticking with this product through the end of 2021, however, I was using this on a regular basis this month. Last month it was 28.24 grams. This month is 28.23 grams. So the difference is only 0.01 grams. And I'm surprised we had any difference at all because I actually, I think the only reason I have a difference is because I resisted using the Duraline product to liven it up a little bit just to see what would happen. And I'm glad I did because this product is 
it's dead. Like it's dead as a little doornail. We need to have a little funeral for it. It was a great bar product. We barely knew ye, although that's not true. We knew it quite well and I enjoyed it. It had a long, long life, but I think it's life has come to an end. Like this, I'll show you what it looks like. It is dry as a bone. This pomade is, it doesn't come off. Like there's no um, payoff when I stick the brush in there. Like I will dig, dig in there and then look. Nothing. There's nothing. I'm digging, 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 digging. Almost nothing. It's, it's dead. Like there's no reason to try and revive this anymore. I tried CPR. I've tried mouth to mouth. I've given it the Heimlich maneuver. I've even gotten the like those shock pads, you know, like clear. We're trying to bring her back to life, but she's gone. Like she's in Cabral benefit heaven right now. And you know, that's not a bad place to be. She definitely had a long life, a long, happy life. But for the purpose of this project pan, it's just not worth following along with this. And it's it's not working. The product is not working. So we got to say goodbye to her. We're rolling her out. And overall, we did use a big amount of product in this project in the time that I was project panning this item. So I'm happy that it had, you know, it's time. I'm happy that I got a good amount of use on it. And I'm happy to throw it away. I'm super happy because it's been a struggle. And you can tell from last month to this month, you're not going to see a difference because no product is coming off on the brush or off on my eyebrows. Okay, so say goodbye. The next item in my project is this little lip pencil. Yes, little being the operative word here. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Polite Society. And I've been working on this for about four months now. And this product is pretty much done. So last month it was weighing 3.4 grams. This month it's 3.03 grams. So I've used 0.37 grams in the last month. And there is... So there she is, that's what's left. And you can't see this, I'm gonna just show you. This little piece pops out. All right, and that is the product right there. And then everything else in here is empty. So I think that we can call it good. You know, like I might still try and use this little bit of product just to say that I did, but this lippy pencil is as good as done. It's really hard to sharpen right now. You know, especially since that little piece <laughs> that's all that's left just wants to pop out every chance it gets. It hasn't fallen on the ground though. So I've been successful in keeping it safe. So I feel okay with using the product a little bit more. Uh, but we are going to roll her out. And I think we did a good job. I'm pretty proud of the progress we made on her. And I actually love this shade. I would repurchase this lip liner. I think the shade is beautiful. It's something I can wear every day. It complements almost every look. It's neutral so I can wear it with cool toned looks, warm toned looks. And I do love this formula too. It's nice and creamy and it lasts and it forms a nice line on your lips. So big fan of the lippy pencils from ColourPop, big fan of the shade Polite Society and super happy to have just an item used up and rolled out. I have way too many lip pencils. So now I have one less and that is a big win. And that's why I love this project because I never would have used up this item if it wasn't for this project. So Yes, she was a good one, and thank you for your service, but we are going to say goodbye to you this month, and I'm so excited to roll in a new lip product. All right, the last product we've been working on is my Hello Dolly Lip Glacé from Laura Mercier, and there she is right there, and you definitely are starting to be able to see through this bottle, especially like on this side. So yeah, last month she was looking like this, pretty much the same, it's gonna be hard for you to tell, but it was weighing 20.79 grams, and this month it's 20.63 grams, so I've only used 0.16 grams, not a huge amount. Again, lip products, at work, with a mask, you know, it's, it's not gonna work out, but hopefully in the next couple months when I'm wearing a lot less masks, not going to work every day, I am gonna be using a lot more of this. That's my goal, that's my hope, and we're gonna continue just to pan her because I think this has been fun to track for me at least, even though I'm not getting a ton of use on her. I'm happy I'm at least getting some use and getting this product just used and out. I'm still like not like a gloss gal per se. I use them sometimes, but it's not like a must for me. Like I could live without a lip gloss. I could, but 
I have them, so I should use them, right? Yeah. So I'm rolling out three items. We're rolling out the Charlotte Tilbury Airless Flawless Finish Powder. What did I say? We're rolling out the Charlotte Tilbury Powder. Okay, we're rolling her out. I'll never have to say it again. We're rolling out the Benefit Cabrow, and we are rolling out that ColourPop Lippy Pencil. And that means we get to roll in three new items. Since we rolled out a powder and finished one, I'm gonna roll in my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Light. And if I remember correctly, I think I've already panned one of these in my project. Did I? So I don't know if this is deja vu for you. That's okay if it is because this powder is getting pretty low and I figured I have other powders that are sitting in my drawer waiting to be used. So I might as well just focus on this, get it used up. This will be used for my under eye setting and my all over face setting powder. And that's enough for me. I don't really need like a pressed powder to set my base most of the time. This one will be easy to use up. It's weighing this month at 65.33 grams. And let's see if I can get it to the side for you. You can kind of see where it's at. And of course, there's product in the top a little bit too, but that gives you a good idea where she is. And this product is getting pretty low and I think it'll be easy to use it up in a couple months. And that'll just be, again, one less item that's taking up space in my drawers. I do love this powder. I would repurchase it if I was purchasing a new finishing powder, but I have some backups that were gifted to me things that people were decluttering that I obtained that um, I want to go ahead and bring those out. Just get things out, get them used up, get them out. And I figured I'd come this far, might as well track it with all of you. Now, since we rolled out that Benefit Cabrow, we're also going to roll in a new eyebrow product, which I'm sorry if that's boring for you, but I've had this product for a long time. It came in a boxy charm and I actually really like it. So I figured might as well bring it in since I'm doing my brows every day. And it is what's on my brows today. My brows are like more dramatic than ever today because I'm not used to having a brow product that actually gives off pigment or payoff. So that's why my brows look crazy if they do. I'm bringing in this brow product from Chella. It's called their Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. And I guess that means it's in the shade taupe, which I don't know, looks pretty brown to me. But this is a cool product because it has like a brush on one end and then it has the brow pomade. Oh, there it goes. And then it has the brow pomade in the other end. So that's where the product is. I doubt you'll be able to see this. It's in there and it's gonna be really hard to track visually, but we will go by weight on this product. It actually works really well. It's creamy. It has a nice color match for my brows and it's super easy to use. So I'm excited to bring this in and just give it some love, use it up. I've had it for a couple years, I think, for a BoxyCharm product. It's great and it hasn't gotten any love. It's been completely neglected. So I have given it some use. It was in my travel makeup bag. So if I was ever traveling, that was what I would use and it just lived in there. So it didn't get daily use, but I think it's getting to the point where I should use this on a daily basis and get it used up and gone. And lastly, I'm bringing in a new lip product. This is from Bite Beauty, and this is their Amuse Bouche Lipstick in the shade Chai. And I believe this, this is a sample size for sure. It's a mini. And I believe I got this from Sephora. I think it was their birthday gift one year. And in general, I'm a huge fan of Bite Beauty. I love their lipsticks. I have several of them in my collection. And I wanted to bring in a Bite Beauty lipstick because I know I love them. And also this, um, formula is all like food grade ingredients so its shelf life isn't as long as a typical lipstick so I wanted to get it used for that reason and this shade chai is really pretty so this is already had quite a bit of use on it but this is what she's looking like and you know a little mini lipstick like this I can use this up so easily. I love lipstick. I'm wearing this today. I think it's a beautiful shade for fall and it'll be really easy to wear on a daily basis. It's great for reapplying. It has such a smooth, creamy texture. It just feels super nice on the lips. And I'll swatch it for you so you can kind of get a good look. There you go. You can see it's kind of like a warm nude, a deeper warm nude. Perfect for fall. I think it'll go great with a lot of different looks. And I'm super excited just to track the progress and use up a product that I know that I am going to love and enjoy.
and it just smells so good. I love how their lipstick smells. Yes, that is my update for November for my Project Pan 2021. I hope you enjoyed it, seeing the progress that I've made this past month. And let me know what you'd be interested in seeing for my next update. Maybe I'll do like a big finale. We'll kind of run through all the products that I've used up this year. That might be interesting. We can just go into 2022 with new gusto and ready to pan more makeup products. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really love sharing my products and all of my project pans with this community. It's been a really fun little hobby for me. So thank you for being here and being a part of it. Have a great holiday season. I'll see you in the next update. Bye.